Hello my beauties and welcome to my everyday gym routine. This is what I do on my days off and when I work out. Enjoy! First things first, it is so important for everyone to wear SPF 15. You have to wear sunscreen, especially for me. I work out in a park. So I go with my Color Science All Calm Clinical Redness Corrector. I use the sun cream and you guys, this has SPF 50. So it definitely saves you from the sun and getting burned. Now once I use that as my primer, I go ahead and I use the Tint du Soleil by Sun Forgettable by Color Science. I'll be linking everything below. Now I use this as a redness corrector and to cover any dark circles I have. So it's the perfect product to use to cover any redness. And it also has UVA and UVB sun protection and is gentle on your skin. So it's a perfect product to use every day. Now I actually recently discovered this. This is a mineral corrector kit. Now this has a whole bunch of tones that you can target certain areas with. Now I have quite red tones so I use the lightest powder just to kind of make sure everything is in place and does not move. Now once that is done, the last step is my Color Science Sun Forgettable Powder. And as I mentioned, I recently started using this and you guys, this actually has sun cream in it. So it's SPF 50 and um, hello, no more burns. Can you believe a powder has sun cream in it? So I just slap on some mascara, some loopy and then we are off to the park with my doggies. <laughs> Now you guys have seen my workout routine plenty of times on my channel but what I like to do if I don't do that particular workout is go up and down these stairs a few times with the dogs. <laughs> they look like they're not enjoying it but I promise you it's so good for them. So I do this a few times maybe four or five times and then yeah I let them cool down maybe I'll kind of rest for a bit and then do it again. Now because this is something that I will do on a rest day, I try and take it easy, but I still like to get some work in just to be a bit more productive. So once I grab my coffee, you guys by the way, I found the cutest coffee place. So cute, such good coffee. I either take videos, so this is a lookbook in the making behind the scenes, you guys. So we film my lookbook and then once that is done, I'll edit it and then I will kind of go along with my day, answer some emails and I definitely wanted to share a video with you guys. So I hope you enjoy this video. Hello my loves, just wanted to answer a question that I get asked a lot on a daily or weekly basis is that what makes me stay positive and motivated and driven and why am I always happy and the thing is the truth is the truth is the truth is obviously no one is happy 100% of the time we're human we get ups and downs we have our good days we have our bad days we have our difficult times we have our great times like it can obviously changes and the thing that always makes me remain positive and motivated and so driven is that a few years ago I read this book and I forget what book it is but I read this book and in the book it said that this man was dying on his deathbed and he was dying of old age and people were coming to visit him to say their last goodbyes. And among the people that were visiting him, three black souls entered the room and he said, you know, what are these people? Who are these? Who are these things? Like, why are they here to see me? And these, one of these black souls came up to him and said, we were your dreams that you never gave life to. And we're here to say goodbye. Unfortunately, we came to you for you to give us life and for you to let us out into the universe and you never did and we have to die with you and i'm not even kidding you guys this resonated with me so much and it sticks to me every single day and i don't want that to happen to me so to answer the question that i always get asked why i'm motivated that is why i'm motivated because god forbid if we're on our deathbeds i don't want my dreams to come visit me and say we came to you and you never gave us life that scares the hell out of me and you know what i for the longest time i thought we chose our dreams and you know everyone has a big imagination and you can go ahead and choose any dream that you have and it's going to come true if you work hard blah 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 but the reality is you don't choose your dreams your dreams choose you dreams come to those people that they know they're capable of giving them life do you know what i mean like nothing is going to come to someone that they're not going to have the capabilities or the ability to give that dream life but if you have a dream it's come to you for a reason and it's come to you because it thinks that you can give it life and you can let it out into the universe and you can make it a reality and not a dream anymore so why not chase your dream why not follow those and i just think that's so special so every time you're in a bit of a slump which we all get we all have those days that we're just a bit like mm, i don't want to do that get up and follow those dreams because they came to you for a reason why not we live in such a beautiful life and we'll be crazy not to 
and yeah don't forget to follow me for more inspirational videos and i truly have such a big passion for this and if i can help one person realize their ability and their dream and someone to have confidence and self-esteem i've done my job and that's all i want in life have a beautiful day bye